I hope you're all interested in learning about flips because, man, I'm going to be working with a client today who's a contractor. We're going to get him using his skill set as a contractor, move him into the flipping industry, and I think a lot of you guys are going to learn quite a bit about house flipping. I'm going to show you how to break down a house flip right now. Everything, the ARV, the repair budget, the scope of work, dealing with the city, the whole shebang. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you guys invest in real estate. Now, today... Working with somebody in my neck of the woods, local cat named Sebastian. And Sebastian, you got some elbow grease to add to the deal here, right? You are a contractor, right? You're dipping your toe now into real estate investing, but you've been working in the trades for a very long time. And that is very important. That is good. I think that's going to help you, right? Because I'm going to go over with you, brother. The number's on a big flip, a big flip, right? I know you haven't flipped a lot of houses, and I would say normally this is not a beginner's flip, but you, you're a contractor, and you've asked me. You're like, James, these are my skills. This is what I have. I have uh, a little bit of money. What's the best way uh, for me to get started? What should I do? And for you, bro, I'm going to say the best skill you have is the fact that you're a contractor contractors are so hard to hire contractors are so hard to find quality construction work is possibly the biggest pain point new investors have now i know you told me you have like forty thousand dollars in cash this deal is going to require a lot more than that but you you are a contractor you have experience and after my analysis you'll see there's a ton of meat on the bone on this deal so you getting a hard money loan shouldn't be an issue as a matter of fact i have hard money lenders for you so we will get you that list and anybody else watching this if you want my list of hard money lenders traditional lenders non-traditional lenders just send my team an email sales at holtonweiss.com we will get that list to you they can help finance your flips right so for you sebastian what i'm doing is I think you should get into flipping. You should flip big houses. I'm about to break down the flip for you on a line-by-line -line basis, right? And the big thing here is a massive, massive renovation budget. And I'm going to lay out the budget based upon if my company, also a contractor, uh, was doing that renovation, okay? But here's the thing. You know, as well as I know, that you can go in and you could undercut that price if you're doing the work yourself, right? So that would maybe allow you to get in there and outbid other people that have to pay other contractors. That's why this is your highest and best use. Now, here's the other thing, too. I'm going to lay this out like you're just, your money's free, like you're getting all cash. But, you know, you only have 40K, so you're probably going to have to get a loan. Loan terms are going to vary uh, based on what lender you end up going with. But I assume the cost savings you'll get uh, as being the contractor yourself is going to far outweigh any cost you have on the money. So I think the deal uh, is going to make a lot of sense for you. And I think this is the type of investing that you should be doing. This is the best way to put your skills to work. Anybody can buy a turnkey property, bro. Not a lot of people understand the construction industry, right? That's, again, the biggest pain point. So that that is what sets you apart. That is your competitive advantage. Let's take a quick break, and then we'll get into the full details on this flip. Welcome back, folks. Now, this, this one is going to be a big flip. It's a big flip. It's a big house. It's a nice house, and it's going to require a lot of work, right? This is not what I would consider to be an entry-level flip, right? If you're going to be flipping houses, uh, and, like, this is the first foray, this is the first time you've ever, like, thought about flipping houses, this is probably not going to be the one uh, to start with, right? Like, a beginner flip is just a little bit of cosmetic work, right? This one is, is a big one, okay? Uh, first things first, let's go over... Uh, where it is, what's going on. The address is 17703 Van Aken Boulevard, Shaker Heights, Ohio. All right, they have it priced 
at 280k, and that's pretty crazy price, to be honest with you, right? Uh, this is a short sale. Uh, for those of you who don't know what short sales are, they are anything but short, okay? Short sale don't mean this thing going to happen quick. No, no, no. As a matter of fact, it's probably going to drag out 6 months, 12 months, 18 months. I've seen two-year short sales, folks. They take forever. What it means is the seller is selling short of the mortgage, okay? Seller owes X. And they could only sell the property for Y. And they have to be like, yo, bank, I can't pay this stuff. You're going to take Y because, like, if not, you got to foreclose, right? You're selling short of the mortgage, right? Based on the photos here, I'm going to guess somebody died or is in a home. We'll get into that in a little bit, okay? So I'm guessing maybe 280 k is, like, around uh, what the owner owes the bank, but ain't nobody going to pay that. It wouldn't make any sense to pay that. We'll go over that uh, shortly. But first, let's talk about the market, right? You're flipping houses. You have to understand the market. Market's going to lead you to your ARV. I've positioned this at about 375 k is the ARV. I pulled up comps. Quarter mile radius, right, over the last six months. And I pulled up a bunch of comps. We're looking at about 375 k That's going to be our target. Some sold a little higher, some sold a little lower. When figuring out comps for a flip, I like to go conservative, right? You might be able to push it and list it at 399 honestly. But I like to go conservative in my estimates, right? You could always do better, right? You do, you do worse, it's going to suck, right? What is going on in Shaker Heights? Where is Shaker Heights? Well, Shaker Heights is a suburb of Cleveland, Ohio, and a lot of rich people live in Shaker Heights, right? Not that he's like a prime example, but like the last guy I could think of that uh, maybe the audience would know uh, that lived in Shaker Heights was like uh, Freddie Kitchens, right? He was the coach of the Browns for like, I don't know, two days or something like that. Uh, he bought himself a house in Shaker Heights, right? You get a lot of doctors, a lot of lawyers, right? It's really close to downtown. You got a, a lot of hundred and something year old big old estates, right? And these big old 100-year-old houses, man, what that means is the rehabs are going to get intense, right? And this is every bit of an intense rehab. But in the Cleveland market, I've graded all the neighborhoods on an A to F scale, and you'll see parts of Shaker Heights are in A, right? So this is an A-grade neighborhood, right? So getting 375 for this house when we rehab, it won't be a problem. But man, this rehab is going to be a big one, right? You got this pool all jacked up. You're going to have to do something with that. So I said, like, you got the wheelchair, the disabled person chair. Uh, it looks like they were like a hoarder, some, you know, old person. Maybe they died. Maybe they're in a home. I don't really know. Nothing's been updated, renovated. You got nasty goo water uh, in the uh, sink there. You got some whatever the hell's going on on the microwave. Pretty cool flower wallpaper, though. That's pretty sweet, right? So we need to do... Any and everything with this bad boy, right? This thing is just brutal, right? That's what I'm saying. They might have been a hoarder. Uh, you know, it's just gross. It's nasty. Like I said, this this is going to be a big old rehab, okay? Uh, we're going to need a lot of stuff up in this bad boy. So uh, the renovation budget is going to be high, right? Which is why that purchase price that ask of 280 it just doesn't make any sense, folks, right? So here's what I got, right? For the renovation budget, I'm looking at, and, you know, sit down. This is big, right? This is this is a problem, too, right? I feel like the biggest mistake house flippers make uh, is they don't properly estimate the cost of a renovation. I think people, I mean, that's the biggest mistake, really. Like, people just, like, look at this. And they, they, they believe they can uh, renovate a property for X. And it turns out they're, like, way off. The price is definitely always higher, right? That's what people do. They, they do the ARV, and they usually estimate their ARV too high and their renovation costs too low. <laughs> no, no, no. Pro tip. Estimate your ARV too low. Estimate your rental cost too high, right? So uh, how about everybody hit a pause right now? What do you guys think it's going to cost to renovate this thing? Let me know. Do do. Dude, why am I just doing the Jeopardy theme song? Like, maybe we can... No, guys, do not do not actually edit that into the video because I'm sure that's copyrighted and I don't want my video demonetized. Scratch that. Do, 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 
dude. All right, all right. I assume we're done with that, right? Hopefully, you guys all commented what you think this is going to be worth, right? What the the AR or the um, <clears throat> what the renovation scope of work is going to entail, right? My number. Hundred sixty thousand two hundred to one hundred seventy nine thousand four hundred. Okay, I think that's what it's going to be, right? And I got it all broken down there for you. We're looking at like painting and patching twelve, refinishing the floors twelve, twenty five in the kitchen. We got four bathrooms here, right? So two we're going to bang out at ten k a pop. One will, uh, the other two will bang out at five k a pop. Roof's going to be about ten. Do the furnace three, another AC three, twelve hundred for the hot water tank, about two k electrical. I'm just throwing a stab at the windows. Uh, from the information I have, I don't even know how many windows are here, but that's a reasonable stab. As far as the yard and the driveway goes, what you have to understand about Shaker Heights is they have a very, very strict point of sale process. Okay, that means when the seller sells a property. City issues violations, and uh, the seller either has to clear them or the buyer has to assume them. So under nor normal circumstances, you'd be flipping this house, and you probably wouldn't want to replace the driveway or do a bunch of concrete work uh, or even have to, like, totally redo that pool maybe, right? You might be able to cheap out on some of that stuff, right, because I have uh, $40,000 for that. But city ain't going to let you, right? They're going to make you do that stuff, right, because we got, like, an estate situation, it appears to me. So the seller obviously isn't fixing anything. So the city will be requiring that. By the way, on this one, the uh, seller has not actually had the POS yet, so we don't have the exact amount. But I'm guessing it's going to be about forty k of exterior stuff. That's why I got those on there, right? So on the low end, we're looking at about 160200 on the high end. 179,400, right? So now we're like, okay, all right. We know our ARV, cool. We understand why we're paying what we're paying, cool. We got a budget of how much our repairs are going to be. Sweet. What do we need to offer? How are we going to make money? Well, if we can sell it for 375 uh, with the costs I've already laid out for you, what you want to bid on this the most, right, is probably $121,050, right? That's if you're following the 75% rule, folks. That's a good rule of thumb out there, right? You want to bid 75% of the ARV less your cost of repairs. If you did that, if you got the thing going, you'd probably make over sixty grand on this deal, right? It'd come with a pretty big payday, okay? Now, here's the thing. You might look at that and be like, okay, well, you know what? I'd be cool with a 30K payday, so maybe you pay an extra 30K. Maybe you want to come up to 121 or 151 instead of 121. I don't know. That's up to you. But, like, looking at this as a professional house flipper, uh, this is my assessment of it, and I think a nice, safe price where even if you do end up going over your budget, because, dude, this is a 100-year-old house, there's going to be unknowns, unforeseen. That stuff happens. Maybe the city gets even crazier on that POS, and it's higher than my 40 k for the outside stuff. You know, you leave yourself a nice, bu uh, a nice buffer there with your $121,000 purchase price, right? So that's why I believe the seller... Going at 280, it ain't ever going to happen. That's totally insane, right? This thing needs every and anything. And the seller, you know, frankly, they're already putting it on the market before the POS. Why would you put it on the market before the POS is done? Clearly, the seller can't do it. So I don't know why the agent is doing that, right? It's it, You're like asking somebody to order food off the menu. Like, yo, what do you want? All right, let me see the menu. No, you can't see the menu. We haven't finished it yet. But what do you want? Well, I don't know. What do you guys cook? Uh, menu's not done yet. When you get the menu, you can see that. But you need to order your food now, right? Like, it doesn't make any sense, right? The POS is obviously going to be huge, right? So from the information I have today, again, conservatively, I think 121.50 is the price you need uh, to bid to try to get this thing done and have a great shot at making a big payday. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.